Okay, I was asked to clarify this Twitter situation, and let me be clear. What students do on their private time is between the student and the parent. Government should not be involved. However, where the government does get involved is when they take that student's material that may be considered less than respectful, and then they publish it on the district's website because it involves one of the board members. Not good. So the question really becomes that we were trying to address is should family members of board members be given special treatment? I don't think they should. Should the policies be applied to all students equally? I think they should. But when you have a relative of a board member, and here's our policy, by the way, to, if uh, you can read it yourself. It, it all goes basically about being lewd and improper and, and talking about sex acts. So, and, and not allowed to be done on any of our social media and anything else. You're supposed to be proper when you're a government employee. But anyway, down this path, here's this guy trying to explain away what he did after this person, a board member's relative, posted vulgar stuff during a Future Business Leaders of America conference during school work, right? It's, it's, a, it's a school uh, outing, but here you go. Let's listen to what he says, and then you'll kind of get the idea, I think, about why we find this to be a little bit off when it comes to how the policies are being applied at Lee Heighton. And if they get applied properly, fairly, not only does it deter other kids from, from violating these policies, they can learn when someone does something wrong. They can learn from each other so they don't have to make the same mistake. But when you don't hold the students and the administration accountable for school policy, now you have a problem. More kids break the rules. They think they can get away with it. And regretfully, because we had an old immoral board with Wayne Wentz and, and Rita Spinelli and Larry Stern and Steve Holland and Nathan Fuller, they didn't apply these policies properly. Now we have a moral board. Hopefully they'll take some corrective action. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just move forward with it. And let's try to create a better environment for our kids. That's all it is. Let's listen to him make his excuses. Here we go. And then all of a sudden, over the summer, I strip searched students, patted them down, and now I'm posting sexually explicit messages on my Twitter. My Twitter is at Mr. Hauser LAHS. If you'd like to go visit it, there's lots of stuff on there uh, supporting our, our, our students. Um, the sexually explicit image, from what I gathered based on the threatening and harassing emails that I got about it, was somehow through the course of Twitter, an image came up posted by one of our students. There was a school club trip, I won't say which one, so that I can identify the students. In this picture, the students had, had done very well at this competition. And they were posing with peace signs, pointing, this and that. I thought, wow, here's like 12 of our kids who just meddled in a state competition. I'm gonna hit retweet and say, kudos everybody, job well done. What I didn't see was in the back row, one of these kids was making a gesture that may or may not have related to some sort of sexual message. Now, I'm 35 years old. I'm no longer cool. I don't know what slang and gestures and all that are there. I'm a learned man, but I am not always 100% knowledgeable in contemporary adolescent gestures, okay? There's a couple I know, but they change. I don't know what it means. I get an email. Hey, this kid's making this gesture. Better watch out. I delete the post. Now, none of that's told in the context of this meeting. And deleting the post is beneficial, but the question is, do we hold government employees accountable? Did we reprimand the employees for not understanding what's going on, being that naive, so that these 
students will not make fun of our staff members for being that naive and irresponsible. That's the difference. So, should policies be equal for all members and all students? I think so. What do you think? I'd love to hear your ideas.